Oh, we're never sure if Ajax will get on the right school bus, and I don't give a rodent's rump if your father's excluded from family gatherings. Oh, yeah. We forgot. Charles, Mambo, speaking of Ajax, have you noticed anything strange about him? He has, he has one, one head. head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, save it for the courtroom. We'll see if you're in good humor then. Oh. <laughs> Little ice cream with you, Kate? Hello, progeny. Bernice. Sorry I missed the celebration, but I spent a long, tireless day waiting through the muck, making an honest go of it. The consummate provider. Putting food on the table and warm garments on the backs of my loved ones. The dog track in Tijuana called. You left your sunglasses there today. So I had a little downtime. Well, now that we have the obligatory lies out of the way, I have to talk to you about Ajax. I got a call from the school. He's been sent to the office every day for the past week. That's not a problem. It's just part of growing up, Bernice. He's testing his limits. If any son of mine was behaving weirdly, don't you think I'd notice? Help! It's not just school. He hasn't been himself lately. Who is it? Ajax. You don't have to knock, dear. You can just come in. I knew there was one house I could do that at. Seems fine to me. Duckman, did you see that? He just went past a cake without burying his head in it and wolfing it down until it was choking and had to come up for air. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to him. <laughs> talk to him? You mean like you ask him what the problem is, he tells you, then you say something that helps? What, you think I'm not up to it? You think I'm not a good parent? You think just because I'm a hard-built detective, I can't relate to my boy like a father? So, you say everything's fine, but we know better, don't we? I thought you wanted to talk to me like a father. Okay. So, uh, son, uh, here's five bucks. Buy yourself a book on solving teenagers' problems. Thanks, Doc. Oh, sweat, son. We should have these heart-to-hearts more often. <gasps> Keyhole needed a little oil. I couldn't quite overhear all of it. What did you find out? That if I'm really gonna get to the bottom of this, it's gonna take the investigative skills of a top-notch detective. We can't afford that! Why don't you do it? You said we were going undercover as high school students. What's with the get-up? I thought the Grange look was in. Actually, Duckman, that's grunge. Oh. Like you fit in. Hey, my parents are in Europe. Want to come to my house for a party tonight? <laughs> are you kidding? We'd love to! Ew, gross! We weren't talking to you, old man. I moisturize. <laughs> Let's go! School's about to start. Boys, we're going to Bosnia! Yeah! Finally some peace and quiet! <laughs> wow, they really cleaned this place up since last time I was here. Guess that corporate sponsorship really helped. Hey, look, it's Ajax. All right, Corny, let's go. And remember, we're here to observe him. Be as inconspicuous as possible. What are you doing here? Me? Uh, I, uh, uh, um... Hey, everyone. It's Farmer Brown of Farmer Brown Sausage Sticks. His meat-like products are gristlelicious. <laughs> Oh, that's better. I'd hate to have to hurt anybody. 
This morning, I've been asked to add sex education to the curriculum. Terrific. How timely. Oh, that'll help. Maybe next we'll listen to some loud, parent-hating Satan music. We'll start with a short film about breasts entitled Memories, Functional Necessities, or Big Round Orbs of Pleasure. Woohoo! Yeah! Bring on the br Oh, you said uh, breasts. I, I, I thought you said we were having a test. <laughs> just one of those nuts who just loves tests. Can't wait to get my hands on them. Bigger the better. <clears throat> but, uh, oh, this will be fine, too, I guess. Yes. Well, uh, shall we begin our unholy tumble into rank and seedy debauchery? <laughs> per usual, I'll excuse myself to the vice principal's office now. I told them that's what happens when a boy gets a burning in his loins. Let's go, Cordy. Ajax is obviously troubled. This might be my best chance to find out what's wrong. Cave women almost never wore brassiers. And as uh... you can see, those caves got pretty chilly. Of course, we don't want to walk out on the opening credits. Fine, we'll rent it. <gasps> Hold it, maggots. Nobody gets in here without first being a disciplinary problem. We gotta get in there. They're probably talking about what's bothering them right now. Did you do this? What of it? School board is a collective noun. Conjugation, young man. Conjugation. <gasps> give me your lunch money. Give me your bus money. Then give me all the money you saved up for college. What are you going to do about this? Oh, who should I make it out to? Nothing works, Corny. You can't buy your way into that office. Perhaps a break. I brought some crudite. I was wondering where we'd eat. Thank God you remembered food. Did you say the G word? You said God. And one thing we won't stand for is prayer in school. You're going to the vice principal's office. Farmer Brown, what'd they get you for? Dodd? I got sent to the vice principal's office. Did I go home by mistake? No, son. I, I came down here because I was worried about you. You've been acting strangely, and I, I wanted to find out why. It's all quite wonderful, actually. I'm in love. Oh. Whoa. In love! You hear that, Corny? My son's in love. Little Ajax, first to my brood, fruit of my loom. Oh, what a great and glorious day for the Duckman clan when my boy meets a girl and... We, uh, are talking girl, right? Dodd. Yeah, right, of course. So, if you have any questions about handling women, feel free to ask your old been-around-the-block dad. He'll tell you how to turn on the key, how to get their motor revving, how to shove in the clutch. Do I need my driver's license for this? Nah, just gotta know your way around the back seat. <laughs> Duck man! <gasps> Aunt Bernice, what are you doing here with Charles and Mambo? That's not Charles and Mambo, dear. The vice principal called me down here to talk about Ajax getting sent to her office again. What are you doing here? Getting to the bottom of this Ajax business, and I'm here to report that it looks a lot worse than it actually is. Not unlike nipple clamps. I'll just go play Yahtzee with the cheerleaders. <laughs> Look, Bernice, what I'm trying to tell you is all that's bothering Ajax is that, well, for the first time, he's in love. <laughs> is becoming a man. Now punishing number 132. That's us. Ajax, can't wait to hear all about your little girlfriend. You are so cute. Let's get this thing straightened out, Bernice. I know how to deal with these power-hungry, child-beating drill sergeant wannabes. Mr. Duckman, Bernice, come in. I'm Vanessa LaPert, the new vice principal. Humana, humana, ha -wa. Very impressive, Mr. Duckman. But why are you telling me in Cherokee that you have raccoons in your pants? We, we encourage the children to be multilingual. Um, how do you do? Fine, thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not as well versed in Persian. Maybe I should open a window. Please, have a seat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have such a full day today. Do you mind if I eat lunch while we talk? Of course not. The truth is, I've got some rather surprising news about Ajax. Actually, we may already have an idea. 
We were just talking to him outside. Well, then you know he's uh, in love. Yes, he told us. We think it's so sweet. Well, judging by your reaction, he hasn't told you everything. I don't understand. What hasn't he told us? Well, he hasn't told you who he's in love with. Ajax is in love with me. You! I know it's a shock, but I thought it was best that you know. He gets in trouble in class every day just so he can come into my office. Well, it is a shock. Not that I don't remember what it's like to have a crush on an older authority figure. Oh, my, no. When I was a little girl, I loved to play tennis. The summer of my 14th year, when my womanhood was just beginning to bloom, I went to tennis camp. The tennis pro's name was Dick Sampson, and he was magnificent. One night, one fateful night, we snuck onto the court. He turned the ball server up to ten, and we spent hours working on my grip. All right, Blanche, save the rest for Halloween. Ooh, listen, Vanessa, this is serious, very serious. Now, I was thinking, maybe if Ajax saw you making mad, passionate, sticky love to someone else, he'd forget about you. But who could we get? Hmm, who could we get? Wait a minute. It just hit me. Yeah, so <gasps> why if you don't shut up? This is a delicate situation. A boy's first love is a very special memory. Of course it is. Especially if he doesn't have to pay for it. Speaking of which, would a 50 help you decide? Duckman, you're embarrassing me. You're right, Bernice. I'm sorry. Make that an even hundred. Duckman! Hey, it's for Ajax. We're talking tax-free. <laughs> You'll have to excuse him, Miss Lepert. His lobotomy was pushed back two weeks. Actually, there's one more thing you both need to know. This is very awkward, forgive me. But the truth is, I love Ajax back. You're in love with Ajax? Don't worry, it isn't a physical relationship. He's just so impetuous and innocent. He's my stridex scented Viking, and I want to spend the rest of my life with him. I'm sorry, I have to go. I'm looking forward to talking to you more. Wait! Getting back to you and me. Did I mention I have a friend who can make you a deal on snow tires? <gasps> okay, final offer. 500 bucks to do a couple of jumping jacks, and I don't even have to be in the room. Just phone me and tell me when you do it. I'm telling you, Corny, no way a woman of such delicious fleshitude would be interested in a wedgie like Ajax. She has an ulterior motive, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to expose her. Oh, there she is. You okay, Duckman? Just tell me what she's doing, will you? Nothing much. She just took off her bath towel, and now she's rubbing herself down with lotion, giving herself a full frontal <laughs> massage, and bending over to touch her toes for no other reason than the sheer joy of it. I'll tell you this, without breast reduction, she's gonna have a lot of back trouble. She's not even in the room! Hee hee, little surveillance humor. Duckman, you are here first and foremost out of love and concern for your child. Of course I am. Why would you even dare to suggest otherwise? Maybe it was the way you said, hey, Corny, let's go get a look at her naked. I can have more than one reason for doing something. Corny, someone's at the door. Behold the partner in crime. It's Ajax. Give me those. <laughs> oh, my God. He's not doing what I think he's doing. He's going to give her a pedicure. I won't have any kid of mine doing something so menial. Let's go. <laughs> And then they left in her car. I tried running after him, but corn-fed here slowed me down. You could have let go of the binoculars. This is all your fault, duck man. Ajax ran off with a beautiful woman because it's his father's biggest fantasy. Actually, my biggest fantasy involves you, liver loaf, and a pack of starving Rottweilers. Oh, yeah. Ajax, you're home! All right, listen, libido boy. I want the truth and nothing but the truth. Straight, no chaser, no guild in the lily. What's going on with you and Vanessa? We're getting married. Don't you have the common sense to know when to lie about something? Duck man! All right, look. As long as you live under my roof, you'll do what I say. And I say no way are you and Miss pass up the chance of a lifetime to rob the cradle instead getting married. I'd hope for your blessing, Don, but I'm old enough to make decisions on my own. Aren't I? Ajax, dear, Vanessa Harlot. What Duckman's trying to say in his own barely intelligible kind of way is that there's no rush. You have time. Surely this can wait. Oh, my head says you're right, Bernice. But my heart says don't listen. I love your nephew. He's touched me in places no one has ever touched me before. Don't you even think of saying it. Family, my mind is made up. We're leaving tonight for south of the border to go to Shady Raoul's wed and bed resort. Adios. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? Duckman, say something! Ajax! 
Blacks. Can you bring back one of those black velvet paintings of Elvis? <laughs> what? He's going anyway. Welcome to Mexico. Do you have anything to declare? Just that the snarling behemoth in the seat next to me is not my wife. Look, Duck Man, either we put aside our deep-seated and, in my case, justifiable antagonism and pretend to be newlyweds, or we don't find Ajax. What's it going to be? I'm thinking. Greetings, Mr. Duckman. How are you and the lovely wife today? I'm fine. She's dead. Wow! He means dead on my feet, don't you, Snookums? We've had a long drive in my <laughs> husband. <laughs> my husband <gasps> is a little cranky. Oh, then we'll get you muy pronto to your honeymoon love nest. Any place without witnesses will do. Ah! Room 2016. The Jungle Suite. Say, si, amigo, any chance of getting an extra bed and a couple of rolls of barbed wire in there? My Pookie is such a kidder! Duckman! What the hell are you doing, Bernice? You want me to go blind? Listen, you dust mite, you're supposed to be looking for Ajax. If you can't even do that right, make yourself useful and oil my back. your social director who got the job because I'm perkier than a ferret. <laughs> so might I give you a tour of our wonderful resort? <laughs> We'd rather just lie here and get skin cancer if it's okay with you. <laughs> what a lovely way to see who else is staying here. And finally, we have our marriage coliseum. We're able to keep our rates so low because we deal in bulk. Do you take your boyfriend, girlfriend, sibling, parent, pet, or plant to be your lawfully wedded mate? I do! We've seen this place from soup to nuts and no sign of the kid. Where could he be? <sighs> Maybe he's doing what most grooms do with their new brides. What, you think he gambled away all their wedding gifts and told his wife the room was broken into? Let's go. We're going to scour every square into this place again till we find him. Wow. Tomorrow at this time, I'll be Mr. Vanessa. Bernice, the floss. Oh. I said I'm exhausted. We spent the whole day and night looking and we still didn't find him. Now we have to get a few hours sleep and start again. Well, at least we got a hot tub. My muscles haven't been this loose since Beatrice used to... Well, it's, it's been a long time. Hmm. <clears throat> nice room, isn't it? There's even a bottle of champagne. Call of the Beast. Must be very rare. I've never heard of Nairobi vineyards. <laughs> A little bubbly? I know, it's the water jets, plus that damn digestive problem of mine. I, uh, <laughs> you didn't mean the water, did you? Ooh. Ooh, I wonder what this does. Huh? Wow, there must be speakers hidden all over the room. I think there's even one under the water. No way. Yeah, hop in, you can feel it. See, it vibrates. Mmm, you're right. Mm. Uh, Bernice, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but you look very attractive tonight. In an I know you're still the shrewish and hateful bane of my existence kind of way. You know, you look better to me than you usually do, too. I don't know if you remember, but, uh... This isn't the first time we've been in a hot tub together. That night at the Dickinson's party, I snuck up from behind you, thinking you were Beatrice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry I slapped you. It was an honest mistake. We were identical twins. Mm, if I remember correctly, there were a couple of differences. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you didn't have any trouble filling out that swimsuit yourself. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Jesus Marimba! Hamana, hamana, ha! Wow! 
of habit. Who is it? It's us. Ah! Dodd, I'm Bernice. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I'm appalled. Ajax, this is simple. You're always telling me about Mr. Wrinkle, and here you didn't hang up any of your clothes. Vacation, son. It's allowed on vacation. Ajax, where have you been? We looked all over for you. We've been here. You both seem so upset about Vanessa and I being engaged. I figured you'd like to know we're not getting married. You're, You're not? not! Rethought my offer, huh? Actually, Dodd, it's because we really don't know each other well enough. And I'm too young anyway. We'll get married later, when he won't make my car insurance skyrocket. I'm very proud of you, son. Me too, Ajax. Thanks, Dodd. Thanks, Aunt Bernice. The important thing is, you let me make my own decision. Thanks for treating me like a grown-up who can figure out things for himself. <laughs> Well, that worked out. Yeah, sure did. Bernice. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it didn't happen, right? Absolutely not even in the realm of possibility. 